got my Halloween it. shirt on. I love the shirt. Love it. John Carpenter is very good. Thank you. <laughs> How long? I saw her. What about you? Did you see her? No. Now, you know, <laughs> Bl Bloody Mary didn't bother me. I'm going to tell you no. what bothered me that, to the point that, and I'm not afraid of horror movies, but this freaked me out. Okay. Saying Candyman, what it was, think <laughs> seven times? Mm-hmm. Because Tony Todd, how good he was, but that deep, creepy voice, candy man, you know, that, that, oh no, I could, I was afraid I was oh. going to get a hook in the throat if I did that <laughs> in the mirror. You might. I'll, I've never done that when I'm not going to. I want to see on Tony, Tony Todd's good side. I looked up on the internet to see what the internet says about this answer, but I'm, I'm going to give you my opinion, but I want your opinion first. Who do you think would win between Michael Myers and Jason? <laughs> hmm. I mean, that's a tough one. I love Michael and I love Jason. But, I mean, maybe Jason would win. Because, you know, Michael has not been successful in killing Judas, so... No. I mean, no. Has Jason's killed everybody, right? Jason's killed Jason? everybody. Has he ever not killed anyone? Well, that means yeah, they, they have people that, that did get away. I guess would be Jason. The internet says Jason also. Oh, okay. Because I want to talk about Hocus Pocus. Have you seen the old Hocus Pocus I, from the 90s? I have seen the old one, but I have not seen the new one yet. Three Witches wants to use a potion to suck the life out of children so they can stay young forever. Yeah. It's a great premise. Out of all the things that they can do, I thought it was cool that they use a candle out of anything to yeah. bring them back to life. I like the whole old story about the virgin thing, and but, but instead of using, you know, the cliche version, you know, the sacrificing the virgin and the virgin blood. You know, a virgin mm -hmm. had to light the candle for the witches to come back to life. Do you think about them using a candle instead of, like, using a spell? No, I, I think that's really cool, and it, and it helps for, like, I mean, as an artist's perspective, like, I've seen, like, just such stellar fan art for Hocus Pocus because of all the creative imagery in this. And I, I love witches, like, it's definitely up there with one of the best witch movies, I think. Well, not the scariest, but, you know, <laughs> the funnest. Is it your favorite witch movie, do you think? Or? As far as comedy goes, yeah. I just thought the director did a good job adding those different elements that I personally haven't seen before. Yeah, in, yeah. In, in a horror movie. Like how, um, in How I Met Your Mother, like, for some reason, like, Ted is, like... Playtime. Um, oh, kill me. You know. None of one of my favorite shows. How really? much? Oh, yeah. Oh, me too. Not I'm sure about the new one, but I love How I Met Your Mother. I've watched it like a million times. I love that show, and I'm going to show you something. You got the bro code. I got the bro code. <laughs> That's a book? For real? Yeah, it's a real book. Oh, you are a true fan. Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. Now, um... You, uh, you have a favorite spooky show right now? Chucky right now. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be the best. So what is your go-to as of right now TV shows? Uh... I have been watching uh, The Patient. Steve Carell is like a therapist and he's trying to help his killer. But so I'm very excited to see him in like something kind of creepy. But you don't see him besides comedy. You don't see him do stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, no, it's very serious. It has its moments, but it's pretty serious. Uh, from Dust Till Dawn. Oh, yeah. You ever watch that? From Dust Till Dawn. I was a little kid. And there's, like, so much nudity and gore, but... But it works. I mean, you, you really expect... You know, I wasn't expecting female strippers, female vampire strippers in a Mexican uh, strip club, you know, 
It inspired me. I wanted to be that girl with the snake. I thought she was so cool. What was that, Tarantino? Quinn Tarantino. He was, a, he was like in it. He was so creepy. Oh, I hated him. You know what made him creepy is is when Selma Hayek bit him, and he had these white eyes that the other vampires didn't have. Interesting story. That's something I haven't seen before. You know, you got Danny Trail. I love Danny Trail. Machete. Yes, me too. You know, you got two criminals, uh, which is Quentin Tarantino and George, uh, George Clooney, who kidnap a family to take them to Mexico, which I was surprised that he actually was going to let them go because I thought he was going to kill them. Yeah. But his his word was his bond. He loved the family, like yeah, they're so lovable. I like the scene when when they stop at the border, and <laughs> Cheech from Cheech and Chong was one of the um the uh, customs officers, and he wanted to search <laughs> in, inside, and the girl was using the bathroom. <laughs> I know that was so good. Are you fucking mine? <laughs> I'm using the bathroom here. <laughs> What did you think about the beginning of the movie when they first walked into the convenience store? Oh, that scene is so badass. It's crazy. It sets the tone that it's going to be like an insane movie, but I don't know when they have that, um, that other girl that they kidnapped and he like has her sit on the bed with him. I'm just like, oh no, this is so crazy. Fix with a hand. In the car after the shooting in the convenience store, the hand, the eye through the hand. Oh wow! I forgot about that. Yeah, that was sick. I love that. Do you think that was hard to do? I wonder if that was a prosthetic hand with a hole in it. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. That was sweet. Do you remember? The, do you remember the biker inside the bar that had? <laughs> He had the the strap on gun that popped uh, open. Sex and it, machine. It, it, yeah, I was really rooting for him. I was too. But what did you think about that gun? I thought I never seen. I thought that was the best thing I ever seen in that movie. It was uh, the best loved thing. It. Yeah. <laughs> so over the top, and like ridiculous. <laughs> so good. What about uh, Cheech Man's uh, character when he was trying to invite the so called um, truckers to come into the club? And he had his announcement. No, this yeah. is the best pussy from the Titty Twister. So funny. That movie just like... <laughs> it just keeps going. It's so funny. But then you get so emotional. Oh, when the kid dies, he gets eaten by the vampires. That movie is what had me like laughing and crying. That was the saddest part. It wasn't the dad for me. It wasn't Quentin Tarantino that did it. It was the biker guy because I felt bad that he got bit by accident and he tried his best to hold it and not hurt, oh. you know, hurt nobody. But when that yeah, boy, that when that, when the son got bit, they all of them are gathered around and he looks at his sister and he puts his hand out. Kill me, Kate. Kill, oh, it was so horrible. And she had to, I think she, she had to kill her brother. Oh, he was just getting just demolished. You know, oh, it was brutal. Daddy just died. You know, he did his best. You know, he hold out for as long as he could to fight him off. Yeah. And then now, you, now your brother had to kill him. What will be going through her head, you know, at the end of that? You have nobody now. I mean, he was nice enough to give her money. Oh, but he was... That's a, that was one of my favorite things, too. Like, you think that... They would just end up together at the end because like every movie from that time ended with some kind of romantic plot but he didn't like he was just like yeah here's the money like see ya <laughs> like that's really creative that they didn't force romance there i like that tom savini did him and his team did the makeup now that, that special effects makeup do you rather that kind of special effects makeup besides digital makeup oh yeah I mean, I'm old school. I'm a traditional artist. You know, I, I totally respect digital. And that's amazing that they can do that. But I don't know. They're just totally. I love the homemade makeup. And watching those videos and them, like, doing it, it's, like, it's mind-blowing. The new Chucky uh, TV show. Yes. But were you a fan of the original Chucky? Oh, yeah. Big time. 
I love Child's Play. It's so good. What do you What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, I did. Somebody get killed by a little dog. But when you're not expecting it, and you're vulnerable and you're freaked out, I think it, it, it could be it could happen. You know. Yeah. And you, you know, it's it's not just a doll; it's a human person inside the doll. So I'm assuming that Charles Lee Ray has his his strength while he's in that doll. It's it's gotta be, I think. And he's yeah, he's cunning, and he's just. He's so vulgar. I think it's so funny. You got her, sale, And you found out that the doll was alive and people are bull bullying you like the blonde girl did. Would you actually go through with killing everybody? Because that's what Chucky wanted him to do. I know, right? Like, I don't know. I don't think I'm really a killer, but Chucky does be pretty persuasive. And you might just go a little crazy having him as, like, your roommate. So maybe it would drive you to do crazy things, too. <laughs> and that girl, I mean, she's so awful. Oh. Now, his dad, his dad definitely deserved to die for what he did to, to that boy. Oh. oh, yeah, he was awful, too. What about the housekeeper? Did she really do anything wrong? No. He just yeah, felt like killing bad. somebody. I know, I was bad. She the wrong place at the wrong time. And so killed her and put her in the, the dishwasher. I mean, that was a sick, like, I loved that kill scene. That was cool. But I felt bad for her. <laughs> I thought the kill scene was cool, too. He put, he decided just to put all the knives the opposite direction. And just... Yeah. That's how I load my dishwasher. I'm not going to anymore. <laughs> That scared me. I was like, that's what I do. I'm gonna put it down. Do you think Tiffany is eventually going to kill Chucky? Tiffany should definitely kill Chucky. I think Charles Lee Ray is, he always going to find a way to come back. Yeah. <laughs> like Michael and Jason, he's going to find a way to come back. Do you think Michael's going to die this time? I doubt it. I think they're gonna make. An, I think they're gonna. Somebody else besides Blumhouse is gonna make another movie. I think Jamie Lee Curtis is gonna die. I think it's about time she does. Even though I don't know, I love the final girl thing, and I. It's empowering, but I mean, come on, she can't run forever. Did you like the fact that the last Halloween came out uh, last year? Um, had a lot of the original people from the very first one make an appearance. I I did like that. I thought that was fun. Um, at times it felt kind of unnecessary, but I like the nostalgia. I like I like the like flashbacks and the the logic of the original. It just felt like the whole evil guys tonight thing was a little <laughs> worn out. <laughs> They were killing me at some point. I'm like, okay, we get it. Yep. It felt like they were trying to force it to be like political or something. Weird. Again, and um, I'll see you again soon. Definitely. Thanks for having me.